he once celebrated a great show that he did by uh, running backwards and popping his left ankle out of joint and popping it right back in like it was nobody's business. He's Scott Van Pelt. How are you, Scott? I'm I'm well, Rich. I did not do that with my ankle, but I did with some fancy new Tom Ford shoes on, mm. um, appropriate for Butler cabin viewing. I uh, did; those are slippery, and I slipped walking up to the set today. Fell on a uh, on a uh, uh, one of the ropes that keeps the uh, folks, uh, the patrons, from uh, getting onto the par three course, and uh, I have I've managed to nearly sever my left hand. But I am uh, I am buttoned up, wow, uh, bandaged up, and I am ready for duty. That's not that that's not your go to microphone hand, is it, Scott? It is it is not. It is not. But if you if you see if you see me sitting in the butler cabin with the left hand hidden from you, it's only because I I, I nearly uh, I am kidding. I just it's a it's a minor abrasion. Uh, <laughs> but but, but it, it did happen. It, it did happen not far from where Finau uh, horrified us all when he popped his leg back together the, as if it were a Lego. What the heck was that? I don't know, dude. That was that was that was I saw it in real time, and I thought, oh, that's really awful. Oh, wait, he just sort of popped it back in, and then he just carried on. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> Keep calm, I guess, and carry on. Uh, all right. There you go. Uh, it looks beautiful right now. I mean, it just fires me up just seeing this stuff. It looks like a beautiful day there. Uh, Tiger right now, as we're sitting here, is one over. VJ Singh. It seems like, why does that happen every year, uh, Scott, that somebody who is a blast from the past performs so well at this tournament, certainly in the early stages? What do you think? Because you, because there are so many people, Rich, who come here, and it's a place that immediately reacquaints them with some happy memory. VJ won in two thousand. Uh, he's still quite a fine player. I mean, he's fifty five, but he's still a he's still a hell of a player. And you get to this place, and you're instantly put in a different frame of mind. It's it's incredibly tranquil and peaceful, and it is a you're right. It is a perfect day. There's not a breath of wind. And you go out there, and you you you're just happy to be playing golf. Fred Couples, Rich, for about three or four straight years on the other side of fifty, was in you know one of the last few groups heading out uh, on the weekend. And um, you know it doesn't surprise me. But the thing about golf is, anyone who follows it knows there are Thursday stories, there are Friday stories, and then there are the weekend stories. And it's it's um, you know t this is a Thursday story. If it's a, if it's a weekend story, it would become a hell of a story if VJ can uh, can stay where he is. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.